Hello everybody, this is Chris Adamo from Balloons Online in Sydney, Australia. Another quick little video for you, we've added two extra bits of functionality to the design tool. Uh, we can now make arches and columns, which I'm really excited about. Obviously, we, we kind of started with the tool being quite complicated, different um, design things like uh, duplet square pack, alternate size pack, quick link walls, and we forgot about the basics. So let's uh, get to it and I'll show you how we do that. Um, just to recap, the web address is balloons.com.au forward slash tools. And when you load that, you'll click here to start. Um, the the home page has a few little videos and um, tutorials. But you can also find a few walkthroughs on my YouTube channel. So click here. All right. Now the first template is uh, Duplet Square Pack under the Design Templates tab. We can look at um, the calculators, arch and ceiling and um, a couple of the, the video walkthroughs here. But to find the arch and column design tool, you will see it under Design Templates and on the right there's a drop down. So we have column and arch. Let's start with column. So it's pretty long, the uh, blank grid. And the idea is you color in what you need and then we can trim the rest. So if you saw the last video, you'll see we had block paint as a new option and also drag and drop coloring. So I'll explain that for you. Uh, so drag and drop is this. And as we work our way up and down the column, you will see the count here has changed. So we've now up to seven rows and based on this size, it uh, and, and look, the, all these numbers are estimates. People uh, can pack it differently, a lot tighter or a lot looser. So use it as a guide only. And also the, uh, the stock order that will populate as you color in the column. Um, one little thing to keep in mind, if you are using the block paint method, where you simply grab a balloon, work your way up and release, it um, doesn't change the row count until you uncheck this and then all of the numbers will repopulate. So as an example, let's make, um, we've got Oktoberfest next month. Uh, let's make something with block paint. So I, I always like to color the base first, the foundation, because they're, they're the most amount of balloons and then we'll go in and add. Um, so we're doing something for Oktoberfest with um, uh, garlands and arches. And what I quite like is this di uh, diamond design, which looks quite neat. Let's get rid of the pinks. So maybe we'll finish it off, finish it off like that, which is 12 rows, and we can get um, some numbers on that. Now, just as to recap, um, to tidy up, you click this button here and that'll remove all the unwanted cells. And we can print it, save it as a JPEG, or you know, print as a PDF, just to remind you guys. Like this, let's put it on the second page, that's just how it is, depending on the size of the finished design. You can also remove um, the pink, the unused colors there. All right, so um, that's nice and fun, just to show you some other ways that you can design your columns, of course. Now, the whole idea of this is not only for you to calculate your stock order, but you can save it as a JPEG and put it as a quote. And I've done that several times. And no, right now, unfortunately, we don't have a means to add a foil balloon or a jumbo on top, um, but maybe one day. All right, back to the next one, which is the arch tool. So like the column tool, it starts with a really large template. You can make it bigger or smaller, but once you color it in, you can click the tidy up button and it will remove everything unwanted. So let's do something a bit different. Uh, block paint. All right, so now if I click tidy up, it brings it to this size. But if I were to add some more rows and it'll give you um, some estimates once again on the finished height and width uh, and all the stock count. So just so we want it to be um, yeah, three meters wide, we just need to add some more rows, color them in, Let's see what we're up to. All 
All right, so that's how you get a, a size variance. But once again, we can sort of play around with the design and you know give our customers a, a, an A and B option perhaps. So actually, here's one way you can do it if you want to be really neat, and this will help you for your production. Is you start in the very middle, like here. and work the swells around. All right, so we're looking left and right, making sure it's uh, consistent and equal. And as an example, I'll show you how to save as a JPEG. I'll click there and you can open it and see how that looks as a neat um, JPEG that you can attach in your quote. All right. Um, well, that's all I wanted to show you for now. So thanks for your time. As always, please give me any feedback. I'd love to hear what you're making and how you've used this tool to um, help your business along. And have a wonderful day. Bye.